Hey, I'm Alan Wenzel from Jail Audio. I'm here on our CV340Z. Today I'm going to showcase our Media Master using the NMEA 2000 Audio Entertainment Protocol hooked up into our Simrad MFD. So as you can see here, we're already kind of set up playing a Bluetooth device. But as I can show you, what happens is you can now mount the Media Master anywhere in the boat that you like, hook it up into the N2K bus, and control everything here while you're underway so that way you never have to access this again so we're going here as you can see we're on the bluetooth device say i want to change source i want to start now using my iphone S simply select the usb and as you can see we have now all the metadata coming off of my ipod showing up the same way it's showing up on the media master Say if I want to go back, as you can see, all the different types of sources I can use. I can go Bluetooth, Sirius, the auxiliary, AM, FM, weather band. Even to the point where I can go to Bluetooth. And now I can select anybody's Bluetooth that's already been paired. Or if I want, I can go ahead and pair a new device. Now we can kind of go into the volume settings. As you can see here, the... Media Master now has a four zone capabilities. I can go simply touch the speaker icon and I will be able to control the volume on all zones. If I want, I can now even go into an individual zone and tie it either relatively to the main zone or I can make it to where it is only absolute. That means simply that the master volume doesn't change the volume in that particular zone. That works great for tow boats, uh, a particular zone down on the, um, the, the lower station, whatever you want. That works for that. It's, it's very simply by just checking off the zone, which one you want to control with the master volume. Now, as you can see, this is a Simrad unit. All manufacturers, all MFD manufacturers are going to be a little bit different. So here's Simrad. Uh, Garmin's are going to be a little bit different. Lowrance's are going to be a little bit different. The best way to do it at this point is just to go ahead and go to your manufacturer's website for compatibility just to make sure that they are on the audio protocol as well. Well, thanks for watching and have a great day.